Hello, Todd. This is Heather Newton reviewing your entry for the social deduction contest, My Die. We'll start by talking about your hero image at the top. Uh, first of all, I think you did do a good job of choosing the right kind of images. For example, this one is a, a, a PNG with a transparent background, so it overlays the hero image the way the template for the Game Crafter works. This is a good kind of image, and I think that you've just reproduced what you put on the outside of your box for the hero image. And it's not very compelling. It's very themeless. It's not really sparking curiosity for me. And this part of the page that's above the fold, the hero image, is really the place where you have to get people's attention and make them interested to play your game. And I don't want to be too hard on people who don't have great art because this is a game design contest. It's not about the art. But some art is important, or the right handling of photos and art and all of those things is important to get people be willing to scroll down um, and look at the game more and be interested to play and try the game. I think something that you could have done without any additional investment in art in your case, I know from what we'll see below that you definitely had this game printed and you had photographs of it. I think here at the top, even though that's kind of what the action shots are for, with without anything else good to use at the top, I think probably a picture of the game laid out on the table, like a really cool close-up shot maybe of one of the meeples or something, would have been more eye-catching, more intriguing in this spot. So we'll go down, and then also your cool factors are pretty generic too. There's nothing that you're saying that is real specific to your game. And this again is prime real estate for making the case for what's unique about your game, what makes it something that people should try above other games that are fast and other games that are fun and other games that are strategic, right? And we also have a, like a pretty, uh, it's a very short intro here. You're letting your video do most of the talking for you. And um, we'll talk about the video in a second, but uh, roll dice to do swin. I mean, it's easy to read. It doesn't waste my time, um, but there's not much to it, I guess. And that's really all you have written. You just have this short description in the video and then the rules. And uh, it, uh, yeah, there's not even like at least maybe a little overview in writing to give me a reason to watch the video of what how the game is played just a short bullet points before the video might have helped, might have been an improvement there. And then of course, I'm not gonna actually play your video inside this video, but uh, you know, I watched through it and it was really a top notch how to play video. It's exactly the kind of video that I wanna see on a shop page. It helps, it really helps me read through the rules more easily and tell if I'm reading the rules correctly. I feel sure that I understand how your game is supposed to be played after seeing the how to play video. And also you did a lot of fancy things in the video. I think this must have taken you really a lot of time and you were brave also to show yourself in the video so that people, uh, it's not easy to videotape your face. It's easier to do things like I'm doing right now where you all, all you have to use is your voice or a lot of people will just film their hands pointing at things in the game, but you actually came face-to-face -face on camera, which I think is a great thing to do because people get to know you then. And a lot of times with games, that's one of the memorable things about them because there are so many games out there in this world. Being attached to the person who designed the game and getting to know them is a great way for people to get a, um, interested in a game and following along with the progress of development and publication and everything like that. So great job on this video. Of course, videos are not required for entry into the contest, so I made those a bonus point uh, because uh, because there's so much work. So I don't want to completely ignore the fact that you put the effort into it. So you did score some points in the overall scoring rubric for putting the effort into the how to play. And really, in, you have thought out consistent rules uh, that are well-developed. And so that is a, a big plus, too. Let's look at your... Um, yeah, you did a good job, too, of writing the name of the game on every side of the box, which some people don't do. And again, there's not any, like, 
really interesting theme or art here, but you've you've done what you could to make a complete box cover and check that box and the requirements for the contest, so that's good. I would like to see, one thing that I personally like to see on the sides of the box are things like player count and amount of time and age. Those uh, icons would be a good thing to add to the sides uh, if you get to that point of publishing yourself and getting art and everything. And then, yeah, your action shots are what I was talking about before. Exactly what I want to see for action shots, actual photos of the game. That's what I actually prefer the most. A lot of people either just dropped their game art in or they did a mock-up because they maybe didn't order the copy in time to take pictures and um, put it on the website. But uh, yeah, this is all great, I think. Let me see. This is, I guess, yeah, the game set up and being played, especially that kind of shot. Uh, is something that I want to see. I think you did a good job of making, like, choosing interesting dynamic angles. So yeah, something like probably specifically this one or this one. Probably, I think this is be my favorite choice for re-clipping this and using this as the hero image would be a, would be better, more compelling for what you already have done. So now let's go over and look at the rules and talk about those a little bit. And you did a good job of having something, even though you have this game is totally themeless, really, of putting some effort into graphic design and uh, showing the layout, having your components listed, I believe. Yep, here they are. And uh, saying how many of everything there is, which is helpful for people when they're opening the box to make sure they have all the parts that they're supposed to have. Um, this is a credits. And yeah, simple short rules, but ultimately with this game, I think that it is because it is themeless, there's nothing that's drawing me in. It feels like I don't I can't think of a reason on game night if I have this game with without having played it, of course, just all I can go on right now is the shop page and the rules without having played it, why I would bring this to game night and how I would pitch it to my friends as the thing we should play. I do feel like there might be something to this game where it's hard to picture what it's going to feel like to play it until you've actually played it. Just the, uh, maybe, maybe there's something like double think or second guessing yourself as you're playing and what you're choosing to do. It's, it's really, it's a bluffing game, largely, and I would say I wouldn't disqualify it as not social deduction at all, because you do have hidden motives, so there's some social to that deduction, but it is not the kind of game where, at least I can't picture why I would be accusing someone of lying in what they, I can't, for example, like what you would do to bluff and be having an ulterior motive maybe would be moving the red meeple up when actually you're hoping it will be low at the end or something like that. And I just can't imagine myself watching somebody do that and go, you're not red, and like having banter over the table about that. And the banter in social deduction is what I personally think is the most fun, what makes me laugh, and what uh, creates memories from times that I've played social deduction games. So this one is missing that, and that was something that it didn't, it missed the point on, or the it missed getting, earning the point in the scoring rubric for the judging. And it also feels like a game that might, like it will need theme. Before it gets published, I think it will need theme to get it to stand out. It's possible that it's good for you to leave it totally themeless so that you can shop it to publishers. But it might be good for you to at least have some suggestions you could give them so they can see the promise in it. Because it's kind of a double-edged sword, I think, with publishers. Some of them want to be have a lot of resources. They want to layer theme on. They don't want you to tell them what to do there. And then some of them don't have a lot of resources to develop something. And you getting them most of the way helps them feel like they can say yes. So it really depends on the publisher. But 
it might not only be the lack of theme, it might kind of need a secondary mechanic or something that pops more as the goal in the game to make it more compelling. It is. It does seem like it's you've really thought out and organized the rules and the how to play video was super helpful. So you've done a good job at making it a game that works, which not all games, I think not all games in this contest even do that, even necessarily would work. They might have sort of holes in the development. As far as I can tell, this one is consistent with itself and it works and it probably would play in the amount of time that you are saying it will and everything. But it's not exciting enough. It doesn't have um, an it factor that I think it would be memorable, like as something that I've played that I would remember a play of it. And so I'm not, it's hard to say without actually playing it what maybe um, companion mechanic could spice it up or what theme, but those are the places that I would focus on to get this to be a place where a publisher would pick it up where you would be able to publish it yourself and um, get a good following and get people excited to play and purchase it. Hey there, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description for more information and links to helpful resources. Some links will give me a commission if you choose to buy, and I sure do appreciate the support. Thanks again, and see you in the next video!